Hello, <laughs> welcome to Farm Talk Friday. It's June 25th, 2021. I'm Ken Jordan, and uh, I've had a terrible week. I pulled my hamstring and the Vegas Golden Knights got knocked out of the Stanley Cup playoffs last night. So now for more positive news, I'm gonna turn it over to my beautiful wife, Janine. Ah, and he's <laughs> leaving. So I thought um, originally that we could just talk about shit, but now we will just we'll talk about shit. Um, so um, uh, we will talk about shit. Uh, the chickens are doing really good. I am going to post some more photos. I posted a really cute photo the other day with Katie Bunny. And um, I had named them when we came back from Tamarindo last week. Uh, they seem to be covered in shit. They seem to be covered in shit. I, they looked kind of like they were wet and, uh, and that they were just kind of smeared in their own feces. And I was a little beside myself. I mean, they were in a little box and, you know, and they're learning to like climb all over each other. But I'm like, oh, you guys are just so shitty. And one of them's kind of a runt. So I named her Shiro, even though I'm not supposed to name them um, or get too attached to them because people always say, you know, it's like they, yeah, we won't get it. We'll talk about that some other time. But um, so Shiro, and then I called the rest of them the shit squad, because we want them to be shitty anyway. It's like, that's part of like the function of what they're gonna do at the farm is uh, provide fertilizer in the chicken tractor, the chicken tractor not being something grotesque where it runs over the chickens and turns them into chicken patties, um, <laughs> but that it's like a lawn mower and a natural mobile. fertilizer <laughs> distributor. It's a mobile chicken coop. It's a mobile chicken coop, Ken is correcting me. So, uh, so we want them to poop. Like we want, that, we want their poop in a certain area for like a few days and then you move the chicken coop. And so like that, they've eaten all the weeds and, um, and they've fertilized the ground and then, and then you move it and they do it again and again and again. So um, for them to be the shit squad, I think that's actually quite endearing. Hi, Hope. Nice to see you. So, Shiro and the Shit Squad. I um, posted about this, like why I named them that, and I have to say that I, I should take it back, like what I said. So, I didn't know, because it's our first time with little chicks, that they were not shitty. They were not covered, completely covered in their own shit. One of them did have shit on its head. One of them, but we have five. And so the rest of them were not shitty. They were just growing their new feathers. And so like their feathers, like when they're coming out, kind of look like wet-ish. And so like through their fuzz, it, it's like wet. I don't know how to describe it. And then they're, and then the, you know, instead of the um, yellow fuzz, it's, it's, you know, like the, you know, whatever colors are coming through, like auburn or brown or whatever it is. And, um, and so it just, I didn't know any better. And um, so I did want to take that back because they, um, they were much cleaner than I, I thought they were. And, you know, it's okay. I was, I was prepared. I had watched some videos of how to clean the chickens. And um, I did clean one, hi Mo. <laughs> and, uh, and then I just realized that I did not, need to clean all the other ones that they were actually fine. So um, Hope is saying that, yeah, they were molting. <laughs> and who knew? I did it. I, you know, Ken basically last week before we left for Tamarindo said, hey, I see uh, little chicks are at the co-op. Should we get them? I'm like, well, I don't know, because we're leaving tomorrow. And we have somebody to watch them. It's not like we were completely irresponsible and just leaving them uh, for days um, under the guidance of Scratch, our cat. Uh, but uh, yeah, I still didn't do all my research yet. Uh, so I didn't know what was happening with them. Uh, I also, you know, it would have been funnier if Ken had stayed in the picture to talk about shit because we have this system actually where uh, we're supposed to be harvesting our own 
um, poop patties and we've never done it. And it's, what do you call that system? It's our septic system. It's our... <laughs> yes. It's our... Uh, Surprising Ken with the shit talk. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna address that on another farm talk Ooh. Friday. <laughs> <laughs> He's not into the shit talking today. Okay. Yeah, we're basically human manure. Uh huh. Human manure, human manure. can uh, be useful, but it's gotta it's gotta it's gotta marinate for like a year for a while. Yeah, yeah. and so we do have a system that does that. But it's been five years. Okay, so clearly I just have to do it. Yeah, get it. <laughs> you got to get a little shitty later. So anyway, we needed it to be sure. We actually um, have to go to the big city today. Uh, it's, you know, it's kind of tough to live down here. The elements are very strong here. Um, it's beautiful. We live in a paradise. Um, but things wear down very quickly. And our electric Polaris, the little dune buggy quad thing. What's wrong with it? The axle? Transaxles, <laughs> axle, drive shaft, I don't know. Something's making a lot of noise. Yeah, the roads are tough here. Where we live in Costa Rica, the roads are not good. This is a good thing for us in the sense that it slows down development. Um, but it sure takes a toll on your cars. So I don't know, maybe we need to get a horse or a donkey or something. I've brought that up before, but so far it hasn't gone over. Um, maybe after this trip uh, with us towing uh, the electric Polaris all the way to San Jose in our veggie oil car that has broken down on us twice as we've tried to go to San Jose or in Vision Festival, um, hopefully we make it, but maybe Ken will say donkey. Donkey might be a good idea. Donkeys are cute. And I, th I think that they remember where you live. And then, you know, I've seen, um, I've seen things on Instagram where <laughs> like somebody's drunk and they <laughs> take their owner home. <laughs> I just think that sounds really cute. So anyway, um, Hope is on and Hope is one of my uh, savvy girls, Go Team Savvy. And uh, she can put her little comments uh, at the bottom of her link. Um, but I'm wearing a savvy top today. Who knew it's good for farming, but um, it's very appropriate. It's Farm Talk Friday. And it's also um, like our, our savvy drop day um, for what we have. And, and this one's not um, the eco-friendly line, but I, I have one of those too. This one just happens not to be. Um, but anyone worried about uh, microplastic shedding, you know, the PEG, the polyethylene uh, glycol in uh, some of the medicines, those are plastics too. So I think, you know, it's a huge discussion, the microplastics that we might need to get into another day. So we are hoping that you all have a wonderful Friday and uh, sending lots of love and just a little disclaimer because sometimes I'm like, I don't know. I, I put a filter on today. I'm just going to be honest. And this is part of the reason why Ken has chosen to get out of the frame because he <laughs> finds it super freaky. And I'm like, look, I'm out like in the morning. This is the time when I can go out and work. Um, and I'm trying to get things done before we go on this trip in the next hour. And, you know, my hair was it's just like the filter kind of brushed my hair for me a little bit and um, yeah, so anyways, that's what's happening, but I just like to be really honest, as honest as I can. Okay, much love. Lance, I see you. Great to see you on, and, um, thank you all for, uh, yeah, I hope I have a bug on my screen, too. <laughs> um, thank you all for joining. So, anyways, ciao.